Uh, this is Losers Finals. I hate con changing the words because that involves doing work. And I can just ramble on about matchups, so I can't do work. That's just too hard. Yes, yes they are. A lot of Sheiks and Mars. There's a lot of Peaches, too. And of course... Oh, wow, I haven't heard this song's uh, music for the stage in a long while. These guys did this on purpose. I believe if you have multiple controllers holding in Z as you go to stages, you can play alternate music. Like, such as the Fire Emblem stage on Hyrule Castle. Anyways, back to the matchups. This is a very even stage. Um... Yes, I do see this stage a lot. Or this matchup a lot. I talked a lot about it last time Ziv played against, uh... No, when Terrence played against Brian. Or Zinth. Anyways, uh... This is a weird stage for this matchup, because Sheik is so good on platforms, coming down with needles and everything, but Marth is so good against people on platforms. You have all the edge stuff. This is a very, very fun match to watch. And it looks like Ziv is just taking this one. It, he's just expertly dash dancing out of everything that Terrence wants to do right now. Unfortunately, Terrence didn't get, didn't get a chance to take a break. I think he may be slightly on tilt. Oh, that should be free kill, and it is. Um, as always, if Marth gets a grab and does F throws, you typically want to DI down in the way, especially in this matchup. Ooh, that was a really well spaced tipper. Oh, and again. Ooh. Man, Ziv is getting a lot of F smashes in. I think uh, Terrence just needs to sit back and play friends and play more uh, careful. A little more needle camp. He's being way too aggressive in this matchup. Although he is behind by a way, so I can see why he'd say that. And yes, that was very tight. I definitely want to get my matches in against Ziv before he goes. I did fairly well against Terrence, but I want to play against Ziv as well. That was a good little slap. Alright, seems like Terrence is getting back into the gro groove of things. Look out for match two. I, I'm expecting it to be a lot closer. Very nice ba- Oh, that was a beautiful needle to cancel that. Unfortunately, you couldn't capitalize on it. Ooh, missed with ledge dash. That's not good at all. Sheik needs to have her ledge dashes on. Very on point. Uh, jump up fair there is okay. Most Sheiks would go for a ledge dash, regret, turn around, grab, F throw off stage. From what Carl taught me, at least. Or dual cats. It seems to be very effective. Especially at these lower percents where you're just gonna gimp. Again, a dual cats would like the F throw there for, from the Sheik. Especially in this matchup. Ooh, that was bad when he lost that. Unfortunate. First match goes to Ziv. Dude, I would love to. I would love to come to play in some Missouri tournaments. I rarely get the time off is the only problem. I'm excited that you guys actually have a good melee scene. I definitely want to play more. Alright, back to the same stage. Surprised they didn't do a counter pick, actually. Although, apparently at high levels, from what I've heard, Marth wins on FD. I personally think it's still a great cheek stage, but... If, it, if people say so, I'm gonna have to look at it myself more. I'm assuming Dreamland 64 would be banned, because that's the obvious go-to stage. This is definitely not a bad one, though. Oh man, Ziv has just got this guy downloaded. It's always unfortunate playing against people in tournament you play against a lot. But this late in the tournament, it's bound to happen. And it's even! Terrence with the comeback. Still three stocks left on each side, there's a long way to go. 
Ooh, good grab. Terrence is doing, was doing very good there with the platform camping. Just putting pressure by throwing out needles and back airs. And even just the threat of running off a platform and back airing can be very effective. Down throw, F tilt, good. It's a good thing he didn't get baited by stuff. Yeah, Mark knowing your habits is very scary. I don't like going against- I got knocked out by Brian in this tournament, which is unfortunate. Or it's in- Damn, Terrell. Um, if you ever come to, like, Norman, Oklahoma, I'm sure you could play against uh, the Norman Smash House for a couple of days. We'd love to have you. Oh, there's the throw. I know if you're chic against Marth in this matchup and you get a down throw, low percent. If they DI in front of you or just neutral, you F tilt. If they DI behind you, you can get an up tilt and just lead into a lot of stuff. At higher percent, if they DI behind you, you can turn around and uh, up smash for a tipper, which is very good. Ooh, and this is an even match. Terrence is definitely back in the groove. Ooh, going for that up tilt. I don't know if I agree with it, but it's definitely a thing. Yes, yeah, Smash House is the best. Oh, Terrence! Oh, man. Just throwing the games away. Alright, potentially match point. It's all good, Terrell. We'll play against each other eventually. I'm not moving anytime soon. Back to Battlefield. And <laughs> don't go down there, Terrence, indeed. Let's hope that didn't put him on tilt. D is it just me or did he change colors? Ooh. Aww. That was... Oh, there's the F-Tilt. I'm so unfortunate for the Sheik. He definitely brought it up... Oh, no. Uh, Martha on, like, any character, if he gets an F-Throw, he can instantly... Or at 0%, he can instantly re-grab to an F-Throw. Thank you for confirming that, Austin. Or Wild Trust. Oh, very good by getting off there. Light shoot him on the edge of the platform, and any hit will just knock you off. So if you have a double hit, which I don't think Sheik does other than F smash, you can knock him off and do an attack. Or what I like to do a lot is just get on the platform and run at them. You'll peach you push, or you'll just run up and push them off, and do an, it push them off just like you did there, and then you can drop down with an attack. Um, I'm mostly just ranting at this moment. Hey, dudes. Not mine. Alright, back to the match. Oh, she got away from the invincibility, trying to come back after that early downer, downside, or deficit. Color counterpick, yes. Ooh, that was a beautiful charge. Charge just for a bit to get more distance on his wave dash. I don't know if I agree with that there. Uh, when they go on the platform, personally, I like to jump and wave land onto the ground and then go from there. Instead of going up with an attack when they tech. Although, weak hit up here is proving to be very effective off the down throw onto the platform. I'm sorry I don't know more about this matchup to be a good commentator. Ooh, no double jump, but he got back safely. I think the Sheik needs to utilize more ledge dashing, or wave dash from the ledge. Ooh, that was a beautiful counter. Oh my gosh, that was terrible. So good by Ziv. And the four uses of side B. Um, Terrell, I can try to give any advice if you want. I, I've learned a bit of it from the Sheik's angle. I don't know too much from the Mars angle, sadly. Ooh, 
This matchup has a lot of flowchart in it, too. It's like, if you just get him in a situation, you can take advantage of it very well. As she, I have no idea what Marth does, or tries to do too much, but I know what to avoid just from playing against Marth. Oh, wow. These, uh, Wave Dash F Smashes are very beautiful. Oh, that one wasn't quite as much. And, uh, very odd hit. I'm assuming he was trying to crouch cancel that and went sent too far away. And that's the game. And we're going to go into grand finals. It should be Hazy Goose versus Ziv. 